The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team Budget Series episode. And guys, today, what we're going to be taking a look at is the defensive end position. Obviously, guys, these are primarily going to be pass rushers, but we're also going to take a look at some guys who are good at supporting in against the run as well. So, uh, with that said, it's going to be the same thing as usual, guys. I'm not saying necessarily that the budget card is better than the card that we're comparing it to, but the idea is obviously to give you some sort of a reference point as to, you know, if you spend more, what can you get kind of a thing. So, with that said, guys, let's hop in here and let's take a look at the first comparison that we have on the left side of your screen we have a 6,000 coin card this is Cameron Jordan it's his base elite 85 overall I believe there's also a newer version of this card but uh, the point here guys is that you're taking a look at cards that are again very not very comparable in price but actually kind of comparable in terms of attributes so if you see green on one side that means that that card is better at that attribute red means that it's lower overall in that attribute and then obviously the yellow means that they're the same overall so uh with that said obviously what you see here on the left again cameron jordan for 6,000 coins we're going to compare him to a flashback calais campbell going for about 75,000 coins now obviously the price of the calais campbell is a little bit inflated because it's a flashback card Flashback cards are rare, so obviously they're a little bit more expensive just based upon that. But even the actual attributes, I don't really think are hugely different between these cards. So these guys are both left defensive ends, and I would consider them, I guess, to be more of like the, I don't know, pass rushing type, I guess. Calais Campbell, I guess, is pretty good at both, but he's, you know, I don't think he's really like downright amazing at anything, to be honest with you. And if you take a look at the speed and the acceleration combination along with the fact that Cameron Jordan actually has a really good power move as well. You're actually looking at a card that is arguably a better pass rusher than Calais Campbell. So obviously Calais Campbell is, he's more of a finesse move guy versus a power move guy. So he's got the higher attribute there. But the point is that most of these guys are going to kind of default to either their power move or their finesse move based on which one of those attributes is higher. So Calais Campbell, you're going to typically see him utilize that power move more, or uh, excuse me, utilize the finesse move, and obviously Cameron Jordan's going to use that power move more. So we want one of those attributes to be really, really good, preferably both of them, so that they can do both. But uh, either way, it, the important thing is getting after the quarterback here. So we're looking for, I, in my opinion, when you're when you're talking about pass rushing, you're looking for somebody that either has, like I said, a good power move or a finesse move, and good speed and acceleration. And then obviously you're also going to want them to have things like tackling and that kind of stuff so that the quarterback doesn't break the tackle but that's really not all that common in this game anyway so to me I think those are the most important things block shed of course can be important we still haven't really analyzed you know just how important block shedding is actually in uh in going after the quarterback I've heard in the past that block shedding is only important against the run, so maybe at some point I'll have to go in and actually do some specific analysis to see exactly how much block shedding does matter, but for right now, we're just going to go with the assumption that uh, what we've heard in the past from other people is at least mostly, most likely true, uh, which is that block shedding is primarily used for against the run purposes. So again, Cameron Jordan, 6,000 coins versus 75,000 coins. I think he's a pretty darn good value for that price, so let's go in and let's take a look then at the right defensive ends these guys are also pass rushers and we have Jarrell Casey who's an 86 overall we're going to be comparing him to Leonard Williams this is a color rush Leonard Williams again inflated price because of rarity but the point here again Calais Campbell and uh and Leonard Williams are quite a bit more expensive than your Cameron Jordan in this case Jarrell Casey so you can take a look at the attributes here again we're not saying, again, that uh, Calais Campbell or uh, Leonard Williams isn't better than Jarrell Casey. I think he is. But in terms of pure pass rushing, Jarrell Casey actually has higher attributes in both finesse move and power move than Leonard Williams, which is kind of interesting. Now, Leonard Williams is quite good against the run as well. He does have a 93 for a block shed, a 90 for a strength. So if you were actually looking for a defensive end to just rush the passer... I would actually recommend going with Jarrell Casey. Yeah, he's a little bit slower. He doesn't have quite the high-end speed, and his acceleration's a couple points lower, but he's five higher in finesse move. He's three higher in power move, and he's still comparable in block shedding and strength. 
So both of these guys, although I have them listed as pass rush, I think they're both kind of balanced. Uh, they can both do well against the run as well as go after the quarterback. So again, my personal opinion is if you were comparing these two, I would really recommend that you try out Jarrell Casey for 7,500 coins before you hop up and spend the 300k on a Leonard Williams. So let's move on now and let's talk about some guys that are more specifically run stuff defensive ends. We're going back to the left defensive end position here. And guys, we have Derek Wolf on the left. This is actually a gold card. 80 overall. Very, very low overall card. We're going to compare it to Cameron Hayward. This is a football outsider's 88 overall elite card. Now, obviously, you're seeing that Derek Wolf is literally not better than Cameron Hayward at anything. So again, not saying that he's better, but he's 2,000 coins. And when you take a look at like his strength and his block shed, his speed and his acceleration, they're almost identical to one another. Their tackling is extraordinarily close. The only real huge advantage that Cameron Hayward has over Derek Wolf is hit power. And that's a that's a 15 difference. Yes, it is important. Don't get me wrong. You can force fumbles with your defensive tackles. But as we all know, most fumbles are not forced with defensive tackles, at least not in Madden. So again, my personal opinion is if you were gonna if you were looking to build a team and you didn't want to spend a ton of coins, I personally think this Derek Wolf is a very, very viable option. 2,000 coins. You can try him out if you don't like him. If he's not doing the job for you against the run, you can replace him. And what's great about a card like this is that you can swap him in on those obvious running downs. You can take out your pass first uh, def defensive ends or even your defensive tackles that aren't quite good against the run. And you can replace them with Derek Wolf on just, you know, situational downs and really do a great job for your Madden Ultimate team. So keep that in mind, guys. You don't always have to just have these guys on the field on every single play. Sometimes you can swap them in in certain situations. So now that we've taken a look at the left defensive end run stuffers, let's move over to the right defensive ends and see what we have there. On the left side of your screen, we've got Mike Daniels going for about 9,000 coins. This is probably, I think this is the least difference between uh, the low end guy and the high end guy, but Olivier Vernon, 55,000 coins. Again, what we're really talking about here are the ability to go after the run. So things like strength, like block shed, those are really, really important attributes. Obviously, acceleration can be important too to make sure that the guy doesn't get around the edge on those outside runs, but those are really the most important things. Other than that, you want to also consider awareness, play recognition, and even pursuit. And what's interesting is that Mike Daniels is actually higher in a lot of these attributes. He's better in strength, he's better in awareness, better in play rec, and better, better in pursuit by one over Olivier Vernon on each of those. And, uh, and then I think on strength, I said uh, he's actually higher by two. So quite a bit higher in some of the most important things that we look for. He also has higher tackling as well. So he's not going to allow guys to break off of the tackles from him nearly as often as Olivier Vernon will. Now, Vernon is a better pass rusher. Don't get me wrong, but Mike Daniels can also get after the quarterback with a 91 finesse move. Uh, he does also have decent, like I said, acceleration and speed. Speed isn't quite good enough, in my opinion, to be a really good pass rusher, but I think against the run, Mike Daniels is actually going to do a quite, quite a good job. Um, the, the big thing where he's not quite as good is, is the block shedding attribute. He is three lower, but I still think a 90 is good enough right now in Ultimate Team where Mike Daniels is still going to be quite good against opposing uh, offensive tackles and even against, you know, blocking tight ends and things like that. He should do a pretty good job. So um, with that said, that's a pretty good value. I think 9,000 coins for Mike Daniels is a pretty damn good value. You can try him out. And if you end up selling him, he's only going to cost you 900 coins if you think about it on the tax. So not a bad option to try out. Last but not least, guys, we have the out of position outside linebackers. Now, so these are the guys that I would actually take. Uh, and, and on the left side of your screen here, I have um, Pernell McPhee. And I'm going to compare him to Cameron Wake, who is a defensive end. But the point of this is that I want to show you that you can take some of these guys who are outside linebackers and you can actually put them as defensive ends and they can do a really nice job so you take a look at Pernell McPhee and he has really good power move at a 93 he also actually has a higher finesse move than Cameron Wake they're tied in power move and he's actually a better overall pass rusher because he has the higher finesse move as well now his speed and his acceleration are not as high as Cameron Wake's so the speed of him getting in there and hitting the quarterback is not quite going to be the same but really what we want is him to get off that block now if you are somebody that believes in the block shed working for the pass, 
This is where Pernell McPhee is a huge advantage over Cameron Wake. He actually has a 91 block shed, which is pretty damn beastly right now, especially considering he's only an 85 overall card. And he also has 89 strength. So he is going to be way better against the run than Cameron Wake. And you look at the price difference, 6,500 versus 125,000. There's no comparison. Pernell McPhee is so, so cheap right now. And not to mention, if you're somebody that plays the salary cap game mode, which I know a lot of people are you can try out Pernell McPhee he's only 27 points whereas Cameron Wake is 36 there's a huge difference as far as that goes and obviously in terms of buying the actual card 125k versus 6500 it's not even close now he is going to be lower in some of these other attributes as well his hit power is a little bit lower his tackling is a little bit lower but overall I think this is a great great value of a card and I know a lot of people have used Pernell McPhee throughout the year and would completely agree with me some of the top players really talk about that Pernell McPhee is a guy that they look to have on every one of their salary cap teams and if they can ever get him in a draft champions uh, gameplay they try to do that as well so with that said guys those are the defensive ends that I would really bet recommend that you guys try right now really good budget cards if you're not looking to spend more than 10,000 coins you can really great get great value out of these guys so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do me a favor and drop a like on it we're probably going to be bringing you guys defensive tackles here in the next day or two so be on the lookout for that thanks again guys hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys again soon